When we first bought the property, we really didn't think that we would build here. We thought it would just be a place that we would come. And it was because we discovered Passive House that that got us intrigued to want uh, to build. It wasn't just, you know, putting up yet another home in urban sprawl. It's not a super large home for two people. And it was Passive House that made us decide that we wanted to live on the property and could do so responsibly. A passive house is, I think, startlingly efficient. <laughs> it's hard to qualify um, in, in ways that we're used to understanding, um, given what we're, we expect from standard buildings. In simple terms, their house is going to be 90% more efficient than a code-compliant house. Our larger approach, as we're seeing passive house, is actually a very simple metric. We're looking at the investment in the building shell, the improved insulation values, as a way of reducing the space heating demand. The result is a huge savings in the mechanical systems, and those savings offset the investment in the building shell. Our standard, when we're looking at an apples-to-apples -apples house, when we're looking at code-compliant construction, same square footage, same details, same finishes to new construction uh, of a passive house level, we're seeing generally around a 6% increase in cost in a cold climate like Michigan, the payback in that investment is usually around six years. We wanted it to look like it has always been here. You know, we didn't want this land to suddenly have a house that didn't look like it fit. And we felt like Matt really nailed it in that we have a combination of modern and a farmhouse. And a farmhouse belongs here. There's been farming on this land since 1836. The clients did have an, a really nice sort of balanced approach about how they wanted to address the interior spaces and materiality. They liked kind of a clean, quiet interior space, but they are also very respectful of craft. We went through a lot of discussions about separation of rooms and spaces, um, the openness of the plan, and really worked with them to sort of meet that need. And it was, it was a good productive conversation that I feel like when visiting the house was very successful with just the sort of types and spaces of rooms that we, that we did create. I would hope that this building is a sort of a step in the direction that people can see that a passive house, a German performance concept with in some cases German componentry such as the windows and the ventilation system actually is an appropriate solution for this country in that the aesthetics of the building aren't in question as to where it's derived from or its location or sort of quality of place. Um, and then the benefits of the energy savings and the building science that goes into it uh, work in this climate, in this country, in this culture.